just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> how much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Never enough coffee. Oh, that's rich. Bittersweet nectar. Get it in coffee world. Get it where you can. Get it now. Jesus, Charlie. You don't think the amount of hot caffeinated beverages you've downed has anything to do with it? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I'm in hell. Wombat City. Uh, can you just help us, please? Oh, dear. Cute. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Calder Mike was passed off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Still too wacky for you. Yeah, come on, Ed. Have some pie. Don't take your mind off things. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? So, what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What were you doing at Colgin Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They, they were shouting, cult up the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? They found their necklace. 
The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finder's Keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The defense was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing, Tammy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear God. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Hmm. 
Thanks, Saga. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Keep trying. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious, but soon enough there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. So Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. How can you be so calm? Good day. Lucy's a part of the job. Can't dwell on it too much. A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies they didn't listen. And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. Now, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank you. Rest easy, buddy. I need something to force this open. I 
I can't force it open. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep. In the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. I'll be oh, right the with you, Falls sir. Station. Yep, yep. Anything you need? Just, Just here to uh, pay my ticket. No. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. My money. No speed it won't open. Here, I see. Sir, some patience, please. Agent? As you know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate fully. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm being serious, Nelson. you folks, but I don't care for all oh, these there. gruesome murders and whatnot right here in our wholesome little woods. town. It's only not what I signed up for. This bear. line of work is not for the faint of heart. Faint of... Oh no, a bear. Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why at Coscola Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. 
We have bolt cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. The tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermal. Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. 